Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. First thing I've got to say, of course, is, hey, Merry Christmas, Epic Guru, mod author of the Antimatter Annihilation mod. Uh, sneaking a Christmas card into the RimWorld opening is pretty high tier, you've got to admit. Thank you for that. Never show it again. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Much appreciated. Let's get on with Joris Advent for day number, what are we on now, like 19? Good lord. So behind Gerald of Rivia, we have Rimsec Security. This is actually a relatively new mod that hit the workshop that I was actually keeping an eye on. Uh, we've already kind of got a mod that, that, that allows us to build soldiers, of course, with the Clay Soldier mod. The reason I actually haven't been using Clay Soldier mod is because it is quite overpowered, uh, especially because they are affected by magic and things like that. And for the low cost of however many stone bricks it was and a little bit of work, we could churn out just like infinite mages. And if those can all resurrect, obviously, it's a, it's a bit OP. Um... But, I, I mean, for an invasion force or something like that, or maybe if we send someone out to set up a workshop and build an army, uh, clay soldiers could be quite fun for that. But for the Rimsec security, this looks really, really cool. Big on Android mods, as I'm sure many of you know, uh, from the many, many Android series we've actually done here. So this is going to be quite fun, I think, just to at least be able to test out basically a fresh new mod on the workshop. Door 20 is another one of my artistic masterpieces. This is another high-tier Joris, I will admit. One of my all-time favorites, we have Joku. Legendary uh, super sandwich warrior, Joku. What a guy. Here we are, back in RimWorld, and the eagle-eyed ones of you out there may notice something is very slightly amiss. Natsu is alive and very much not horribly, horribly dead. I decided after yesterday's episode to try and figure out exactly what was going on, because even though I was happy to accept that he was dead, I, I still thought it was a bit strange that with... Our character who couldn't reverse time, and with Arctic, who's capable of resurrecting people, we couldn't actually resurrect him. I looked into it uh, to try and work out exactly what was going on, which is why we're a couple of days ahead here. And I figured out that it was just a simple bug. Uh, it, it wasn't what I thought, you know, uh, when I spitballed, maybe it was because the uh, because he's a lich. He's technically already dead, so resurrecting him with Arctic wouldn't help. Maybe he's immune to the Chronomancer abilities. No, it, it's far more simple than that. The real reason is the UI is bugged. So, quite simply, to uh, say, say, for example, we want to reverse time, when we tried doing that, it would use accelerate time. Now, I quickly figured out when I tried using accelerate time to grow some uh, to grow some cotton, because I was in the middle of redoing the uh, melee character's outfits, it used Alter Fate. And then from there, obviously, you can kind of tell that Alter Fate uses prediction. Prediction uses chronostatic field, as you can see right there. The simple, the, 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 the simple truth of it is all the things are just over by one, and that's all there was to it. it. It wasn't anything I thought, like I said, with the class being complicated. It's just the UI is bugged out. So if we want to use reverse time, we have to use blink instead. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit M Mr. Kitzler here with a reverse time. And now if we go here, reverse aging. That's, that's genuinely all there was to it. We could have very easily resurrected Natsa on the spot there and then, uh, but all the abilities are just over by one. Um, and I, I have a feeling it's probably down to the fact that we've taught Santa nine different psychic powers, along with extra mage powers, along with him being able to mentor magic, etc, etc. I think the UI just doesn't really know what's going on, and of course, search and destroy and run and gun. So, that's it. That's really all there was to it. So, here, Nats is back. Uh, a bug could not stop me. And riots can be avoided. You can put down your pitchforks now. Everybody's happy, aren't we? Please be happy. Oh god, Mr. Kitzler, he's not very happy. Oh shit, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we reversed aged him to where he'd already taken some yayo. Shit. Santa, get him out of there. He fucking died. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, that was the worst experiment I've ever done. I literally could not have picked a worse character. He was already high on yayo, and then we jumped time back to when he'd just taken yayo, so we double dosed on it. For fuck's sake. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, put him down, put him down, put him down. Let me resurrect him. Now we know how to do it, right? And here we go. Perfect, perfect case in, uh, case in point. Let's go and charge Santa's manor up. No one's charging manor up, huh? Uh, right. Let's go ahead and just re-enable that very briefly. And let's get, I don't know, Natsa. You, you seem like the perfect guy here. Go and recharge this for me. Now, in theory, if we blink him, he should come back to life. There you go. Perfect example. Okay, well... I'm, I'm glad I spent some time figuring that out. And again, I haven't got any problem with, with kind of reversing the little bit we did at the end of yesterday's episode after Natsa's death. Uh, just to bring him back there, seeing as it was it was a bug. I'm, I'm all right in that situation with uh, with a reload, I think. 
So what I also did, uh, and I actually recorded this, but then obviously where I wanted to resurrect Natsu instead, I, I kind of rolled it back. I worked out that the best gear for melee characters, <laughs> and I can barely fucking say this with a straight face, is not the crazy high-tech, you know, super move speed jumpsuits. It's in fact just a fucking builder's outfit. Because <laughs> it gives the highest, it, it gives the highest blunt defense out of everything for whatever reason let me go to the apparel tab for a second to show you guys this so hard hats 137.5 percent only at what's that that's just excellent quality so the ceiling can still be raised higher than that still uh let's go back to the weapons tab here and then also i mean there's some weird shit like shroom and flesh suits builders jackets give 80 percent on blunt resist the hyper hyper op Doom Praetor suits, the things that I refuse to build anymore because they are that broken, are only 0.5% better. And then there's also these Shroomen flesh suits that I have no idea how we make. Those would be very, very nice. But obviously that's, uh, that requires us having the, all, the, all the mushroom people and the mushroom research. So genuinely a builder's outfit. But it gets even better still. The builder's jacket is only outer layer. Which means we can also throw middle layer stuff in. So I also have queued up, I don't know if this is the safe where I've already queued it up. Right, Ancient Mail. Ancient Mail only covers the middle layer, has some pretty crazy defense bonuses as well. Better yet, we can build that out of Demon Scale that also gives really, really crazy bonuses. Or Hyper Alloy eventually if we get it to that stage with Antimatter Annihilation. What I'm getting at is uh, we're going to turn all of our characters into, all of our melee characters into builders because that is quite literally better than any power armor we can build. Welcome to Rimworld. <laughs> I changed the weapons around a little bit too, so we made one of those... Um, chainsaws ages ago i wanted all of our melee characters to have their own little unique weapon rudolph of course has his possessed enchanted demon saber so when we defeated the ultra tech characters one of them dropped this uh scissor blade which i'm pretty sure is from an animated show the one with the lady uh, fights the other lady with scissors they don't wear many clothes you know it's anime you know how that goes um so we've got that thing and it's very very powerful again it's from the antimatter annihilation mod so it's quite a high-end weapon there too uh 46.28 melee dps take it with a grain of salt because we're using like yeah combat and stuff too Raptor Jesus, of course, double-bladed, uh, Kyber Crystal lightsaber is quite fun, the Crucible sword from Doom, and then a fucking chainsaw, because nothing says RimWorld, like a cat girl dressed as a builder with a bunch of tentacles and a fucking chainsaw. On the subject of that, we really need to get some prisoners, don't we? Malala, I still want to recruit. What did you have going for you? Fast Walker, Bloodlust. I mean, they're both quite good. Do we want to recruit you? You're pretty crap, though. I was only going to recruit her so that we could have, um, I mean, obviously the elf racial bonus is insane. Um, she's also apparently regrowing? Right lung. Are you immortal? Well, we know it would say immortal because she would have died once. I guess that's probably our our druid, right? With the regenerate spell. Oh, and also I think Soriel. Yeah, Soriel is also a warden, so that would make a lot of sense. I'm gonna actually sacrifice Malel so that we can give the cat girl a tentacle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, we could do with another cult dagger actually, because I'm pretty sure the old one got smelted when I was just. I was just sick of getting those crazy strong raids relatively middle ground before we sorted out the armor and everything. Um, so I let them smelt basically everything down. So let's go ahead and make another cult knife. Now we should have a load of demon scale. Or is this just before... Again, obviously I had to reload a little bit. So it's going to take me a little while to get back on track with where we were. I think this is after I've set it to tide, but we haven't had to delivery yet. So I think I set all of this to demon scale. Um, no, I haven't quite done that yet. So let's swap that back over. Again, mainly so we can build the ancient mail for the builders. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the ancient mail also gives bonuses to magic too. So like it gives a flat 25%, I think it was, damage bonus on top of that. So it's it's quite a nice uh, quite a nice armor set, but I, we need to get way more demon scale to actually make that work. So let's disable all and then go demon scale. The only thing realistically that would supersede at that point is the hyper alloy from antimatter annihilation, and that's something I want to get to work on today. People have pointed out to me as well. We could use the um, oh, I've, I've removed them now, but the dimensional pockets. There are dimensional hoppers where you can hop items into it. I still stand by my reason for not using them, and that's that. It would be kind of a pain in the ass to, especially the antimatter annihilation machines that need refueling with antimatter and things like that. We would have to keep someone in there all the time to refuel the machines. Maybe that's where the robots or the clay soldiers could come in handy. For the time being, we'll build one out in the overworld so that we can actually get that done. When we start getting more and more resources in, then we can start focusing on weird little projects like, I don't know, nuclear reactors in their own little dimension. So I'm thinking, let's just stick down a big fuck-off wall over here somewhere. How much steel we got? We've got plenty of steel. Um, let's build a big old hexagon lab, like right, like right here. 
Yeah, let's, let's move it over slightly just so that we can get it attached to the road without actually covering over the road. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Got some terrain issues here. I think that's pretty good. That seems like a decent size for a lab as well. Oh, Christ. That's a lot of mushroom, men. Hello. What the fuck is that? Humor giant. Wormer giants. What's up here? Loads of mages or various different mages anyway. And then over here, we've got uh, regular mushroom people. Okay. Well, this is something, isn't it? I think we'll let... Shit, I mean, what do I want to do here? Um, firstly, let's squad these guys up properly. You don't have a gun. Have we got a spare sonic blaster anywhere? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, let's go ahead and give you that. I've removed the BFG 9000 from our loadout. Simply because I, it, it's doing more damage to our people than it is doing good. The Sonic Blast is a great damage anyway. Um, it's no point going kind of that much overkill, to be honest. What? A Mushroom Man that's also a werewolf? What the fuck have they got equipped? Look at that thing. God, this mod is disgusting. They just drop fucking meteors on my base. Great, thanks. I suppose it's gold ore at the end of the day. A Glabro werewolf. Uh, yeah, there he is. Shit. Okay, well, hopefully the lasers can do something while we get everybody else down here. Uh, everybody but Kitzler, that is. Right, you guys come down here. Help me out here. Equipping the Sonic Blaster. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Blink, please. Gonna need a little bit of help here. Oh, my God. Look at these weapons they've got. What the hell is that? It was like... Shroomin' Heart Gun. That's kind of... It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of cool. Pull back, pull back. Arctic. I don't like the fact that Arctic got there first out of everybody. The only character who's actually incapable of combat. I don't want to use the Eye of the Storm yet. I think we need to save that for an, for the next group. Fuck, these guys actually seem like they could be maybe a little bit more powerful than I expected. Oh, God, the turrets. Okay, um, melee characters. I need you guys just to, just to fucking hide. They haven't got armor yet. They, we haven't got any. They haven't got their builder's jacket, so they're susceptible to a lot of damage. Come back, come back, come back. Though, I, granted, I can't imagine a heart gun does anything but blunt damage, right? Oh, that turret. Okay, we're actually... Oh, that's an exploded. I thought it was exploding then. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. First group dealt with. I fucking hate that thing. Oh, it's like a big, horrible, wormy baby. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. Now, who was the werewolf? Which one was the werewolf? Because I want to resurrect him. It's this one here. Go... Go cam... Cadway. Ah, there you are. Santa? Uh, bring him back. Reverse time. No, 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 no. Reverse time with Blink. He's telling me. Obviously, Blink is reverse time. Nice. Rudolph capture. Boom. There we go. We got ourselves a werewolf paladin. Well, we'll turn him into a paladin eventually. And, of course, his mushroom. Right, run. These fucking little wormy boys are actually way more powerful than I realized. They've absolutely done a number on our fucking kill box. Look at that. They've even blown up the embrasures. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. What's what's the range looking like on fire? Yeah, wait a little bit longer. And ready. And go. Kill. Destroy. Annihilate them. Go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a bit disappointing. Fire is very, very powerful when you use multiple of them in conjunction. It, it basically saved us last time we played Rim and Magic just that one ability alone. Although, I mean, it did pretty fucking good work there, huh, didn't it? Nice. Okay, that'll do. And we've got some sort of magical sun hater. No, no, what have we got here? An entertainer. A funny mushroom. Hey, capture that funny mushroom. Which one is that one? Bo Boars AM. Capture Boars AM. Uh, oh my god, they're all piled up. Ba -ba -bo. Where the hell are you? Um, I can't help but notice the Arctic's heart just flew out and attacked her. No pulse. Yeah. Yeah, that's because our heart is right there. Animal of Santa surprise. <laughs> what is this mod? What is this mod? Huh. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we can rescue Arctic. I don't think it's going to help. She's got no pulse. Wait, hang on. The druid. Can you regrow entire limbs? A regrowth requires the seed, doesn't it? Uh, what about regenerate? Wait, we could just reverse time so your heart comes back. The only problem is I'm worried that the heat if the, um, the, the, the effect of the heart gun will also reverse back to, to being active as well. Well, let's take a look. 
It may just grow back the heart without the external effect. Go. Okay. No pulse. Heart still missing. Okay, time is reversing. Heart still destroyed. Heart's back! Hey, there you go. You're still missing an eye and an ear and a, and a humerus, but... Um, I kind of want to tame Arctic's heart, which is a very bizarre thing to say. Tend to your own heart. Because <laughs> if you can't tend to your own heart, whose heart can you tend to? Come back over here. Use your magic. This is a strange situation we find ourselves in. It's very weird. It's a Christmas miracle. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, there we are. Um, I know what to call you. I'm going to call you... Uh, excuse me. I don't want to call it... Oh, well, let me rename it. I was going to call it... A heart... A heart tick. It won't let me rename it. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's, um, that's really great. That's really something. Can we, can we set that to attack? <laughs> For God's sake, give me a minute. A group of hungry people have entered. It's still Gunnery Sergeant uh, Hartman, right? Yes, it is. Okay, that explains a lot. That's why we're getting just basically raid after raid after raid right now. It's it's better than Igor, I can't lie. Uh, hey, let's go test out this uh, this anime anime sword. What a fucking strange, what a strange campaign. Can I just take this in a second? What the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> well, here we are. Excellent. What the hell? Dragon's blood? Dragon's lair. What the hell is that? Dragons have forever been known as mythical beasts. Well, at least they have for the past couple of days when we installed the mod. Some believe this strength is stored within the eyes or claws, but the reality is in its blood. Dragon's blood can only be obtained from the horns, as blood from the other areas is too potent or- What? Potent or toxic for co consumption? This potion grants some of the dragon's power, speed, pain resistance, fierce combat capabilities, and flame nullification. Due to the feeling of power this creates in those who take it, they make it extremely addicted. So we need a dragon that we can drain blood from its horns? Pretty sure horns don't have blood. Uh, you kill him. Well, thank you. That explains why these naked people were so, I guess, fucking nuts. And left eye water. I mean, it do be like that. They are mostly water. Give me that. Uh, take some. Drink it. What does it do? Uh, high on dragon's blood. What does that do? Uh, so 40% less pain, 20% extra consciousness, 15% build up. It's actually pretty good. Blood filtration, 10% moving, 10% breathing, nullifying flames, minus 70% flammability, and a small tolerance to dragon's blood. From the first go? Holy shit. My god, look at this. I'm so sorry. Time to get ourselves some cat girl powers. Here you go, Cthulhu. One elf sacrificed by Santa. Holy shit. Boom. Mixed success. Okay. So that means that we get the positive, but we also gain the negative. The negative being an eclipse isn't such a big deal because we don't have any total panels now, do we? No, we don't. Uh, so where is... Uh, where is Don Excelente in bed waiting an operation? Well, there you are. Don Excelente's hand has been replaced by an otherworldly tentacle. It's a dream come true. Manipulation, 25% and 125% efficiency. That's very good. Now... We reverse time. Sorry, Al. Now we reverse time. Oh, wait. Blink actually worked now? What? Reverse time? Oh, it's working properly now. Why? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Okay. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Something has moved down to that bottom bar. Because oh, he had a melee weapon equipped. He couldn't run and gun. That explains it. So it's a run and gun conflict with Room of Magic then, I assume. Again, it's probably just because there is too many interface items. Um, probably wouldn't be a problem if you didn't have all this crap going on as well. Oh, interesting. All right. Um, let's go ahead and equip that one as a sidearm too. Right, because he had the, the cult dagger equipped. Got it. Well, I'm going to sacrifice you again, if that's okay. We should probably go and help Zoriel at some point as well. It's all set up ready. Executioner is drafted. What if we undraft you? Does it work now? Uh, yes. Hey, there we are. Zoriel, you can sit and watch from... Uh, from, from there, basically. I don't know if we'll get another success. Whether it's too soon. Oh, we, we got it again. Don Excelente. Leg has been replaced. Hey, that's good. Because I was about to replace the leg. What does that give? 25% manipulation as well. Whoa. 
What's Don Excelente good at? Artistic. That's probably not the ideal character to be in, in, in imbuing with all of these tentacles, but it is kind of fun. Um, could we remove them? Remove part, I wonder, and implant it on someone else. Obviously, I won't do that. Yeah, you could do that if you wanted to. I like the idea of the cat girl covered in tentacles. Uh, we can also replace her lost tail. Oh, that's for Thrumkins. Got it. Okay. Um, so left leg, we can remove that one now. To be honest, don't cure up any surgery. We'll just keep sacrificing Malel over and over and over as a, as a very unique form of Christmas torture. Santa teaches the elves a lesson. Dong, put that back where you got it. Also help me. We've done it again. Oh, this is fucked. Don Excelente's other hand, I assume. Oh, it's the same hand? Oh, you can fuck off. <laughs> well, you win some, you lose some, huh? Shit. Uh, so we, we've done a lot of sacrificing, you might have noticed. Downside to that is we did get a storyteller change. Unfortunately, that new storyteller is, and I dread to say, Igor Invader. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, Don Excelente is now more or less entirely tentacle. Uh, we've got to replace the other eye. We, we're getting quite unlucky, I can only assume, in that we keep getting, like, hands being replaced, but we've already got hands. Uh, luckily, the, the arms are tentacles, then the hands are tentacles coming out of the arm tentacles, so that stacks up the manipulation even further. The real problem is, like I said, we're, we're, we're just doubling up sacrifice at this point. I'd love to get that last horrifying eye stalk, but it's a lot of effort just for, like, 15% extra vision or whatever it is. Oh, it's 15% sight and 125% efficiency. Well, anyway, we've got to reverse time and resurrect Soriel now, because Cthulhu drove Soriel a bit mad with that last, uh, with that last resurrection. So let's get you back up, and you can be captured. Someone can come save Soriel. Perfect. Holy shit, that was lucky. Who have we got now? Connery, Sergeant Hartman again. Okay, so we're back to the start. Men hunters, man flat dragons. The ants are being attacked by dragons. Holy shit, those dragons seem fucking strong. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell is a gold dragon? That seems like a highly prized due to their golden scales and friendly disposition. They many struggling riders and tribes people seek out these generous beasts to ask for part of their hoard. However, many are turned down for their greed and hostility. Greed and hostility is my speciality. Now, we've got a couple of options here. We could we could knock them out and try and tame them. Uh, maybe lock them in prison and try and tame them. Or we kill them and resurrect them with Natsa. I'm not sure here. Um, we'll see how they get on. To be fair, the trees might end up killing them anyway. Do we get other... Oh, we've got other trees attacking. Oh, my, my fucking heartling. Right, okay. Save the heartling for a start. Um, get in there. Go, go, go. Run. Save the heartling. And um, we'll go and we'll kill the, we'll, we'll, we'll see how the dragons get on. If the dragons die, we'll resurrect them um, with Santa probably and then try and tame them. If, yeah, I think I'll probably always do that. I mean, Natsa resurrecting them as, as, as uh, undead is always interesting, but there's always just a chance they can straight up disintegrate if we get like a uh, mana drain on the world. What the hell happened there? Burnt itself out. My, my lamp is on fire. Christmas is cancelled. Okay, here's the plan. Arctic, save your heart. Uh, everyone else? Kill. Destroy. Kitzler tried to jump, to be fair. It didn't really. Why are we jumping with jetpacks when we can literally fucking teleport? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Shit, these trees are actually bodying Mr. Cake. You okay, Mr. Cake? No, Mr. Cake is not okay. Leg's been ripped off by a tree. I mean, it is a. So is Mr. Kitzler. Wow, they are way more tanky than I expected, huh? Okay, they're fleeing. Cake's back up. Thank God we bought Arctic along. The only problem is Arctic cured our actual useful colonists rather than the heart. So I'm going to quickly just uh, quickly just save you before that gets out of hand. And boom, good as near. Right, you go hide. Animal emergency. Um, we might have to tend to you again in a second, to be honest. How are we looking with our people? Kitzler? Oh, seven conditions need tending. He's actually fine. He's actually fine. We're missing a leg, but I was going to replace them all with um, Barnet legs anyway. So that's not a big deal. Santa's dazed. Everyone else, let's head over and start... Preparing to maybe grab the dragons. This is the worst tax day I've ever had. <laughs> Back to Igor. Okay, so we've got to be very careful handling these dragons. Uh, they, they're obviously very, very powerful to say that they fought an entire bunch of magical ants and only took... Well, they are fucking durable, huh? 46 conditions need tending. They barely took any. They've also got regeneration. 
Um, have we got any way to knock them unconscious without actually killing them? Uh, as far as I know, no, we do not. Cake, have you got like a, some sort of like magical stun magic? You got some of that magical stun magic? No? Uh, lightning bolts. I don't want to kill them yet because Santa is, uh, psychotic wandering. So if we kill them and obviously too long passes, then we can't even resurrect them. Soriel's down. You'll return from death. Okay, that's fine. Rudolph is uh, awaiting surgery. Can any of you guys knock him down here? No, we really can't. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just kill them. We could just bait them over and hope that Santa snaps out of it before they get over here. I mean, they're very, very slow, probably because they are so massively injured. Fucking hell. They've got some range to them. Run, Arctic! Fuck, those things are strong. Well, one's dead. It's rather unfortunate. I'm hoping they'll just knock them down without killing them. The laser turrets are pretty, a pretty hard counter to dragons. There we are. Hey, one's alive. Hey, good shit. Um, can we, like, just just give it anesthetic? Like, knock it out? Uh, anesthetize. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then Arctic. Go. A uh, couple of violence. I don't care about that. Dragon not ready for surgery. What, what do you want me to do with it? Balls. Um, I guess just let it bleed out, right? And we'll resurrect the others with, um, we'll resurrect the, what, excuse me, what the hell's going on? Uh, what? One of my, one of my people is bugged. Oh, <laughs> I can't select a group of people. That's, that's cursed. I guess what we'll do is we'll resurrect the dead ones with Natsa anyway. What's his mana regen? 420. Of course it fucking would be. Why, why, of course it would be. Why wouldn't it be? Let's go and resurrect the... Oh, they're all dead now. Oh, it drowned. Of course it drowned. Santa, unless you snap out of it very soon, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with them. Come on, wake up, Santa. We could do a resurrect with Arctic, I guess, but I don't know quite how that works. 85. Um, does that even work on... Oh, shit, we haven't got any charged mana. Um, right, right, okay. Let's, let's charge this quickly. Transfer over to Arctic. See if we can just resurrect a regular one, and then we can bring back the other two as, as, as kind of lich form. I'm sorry, what just happened? Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. Yeah, Mr. Kitsar went on a tantrum and decided to kick a fucking nuclear bomb. What are you talking about? Minor pain. Oh, let me go fucking yeet this nuke. We can't even resurrect her because there's nothing of her left. Minor pain. Minor pain. You son of a... F oh, I just can't. I just... No. 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 I don't care. I don't care. Who's Mr. Kitzler? I don't remember. There's never been anyone in this colony called Mr. Kitzler. I think you must be misunderstanding. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm so done with that. I just love the fact that they were just gone. Just like gone from existence. Fuck them. Just fuck him entirely. Right, resurrect that dragon. Can we can we even res I don't think we can we can resurrect down creatures? There we go. Uh Oh! And now it's drowning! Fuck! You really should have thought about this. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna nuke these fucking dragons. Mark my words. Okay. 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 Ready? Bed? Animal bed? Where's the animal bed? Sir? What is it? Furniture? Where the fuck are animal beds? I'm, maybe... Okay. It's it's clearly... I'm, I'm, I've got, like, anger blindness. Animal bed. A aquatic... Aquatic sleeping spot? Aquatic... What the fuck? Where the fuck are beds? Right. I'm... Um, give me... Give me this. Give me... This. You know what? Just stand that... To, we've got three beds, right? Stand that to right next to it. The second... The second it resurrects, it just immediately tries to drown itself again. Nats is going to drag it out of the water, kicking and screaming if we have to. Now resurrection's on fucking cooldown. Well, on the plus side, we've got a masterwork dorm. <laughs> Fuck you, Santa. This is all your fault. Can we resurrect like a couple with Natsa, but not all of them? If I just shoot it like there, that should do it, right? 
And boop. There you go. Now we've got some questionably gold dragons. Egg progress. Whoa, 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 whoa. Female gold dragon, female gold dragon. Are you a male gold dragon? How do I know? Male gold dragon. Information. Dead body of a dragon. Drowning. Drowned. Yes, thank you for rubbing that in again. Not gonna matter anyway, because he can't sustain these fucking dragons. There you go. 0 0.072. <sighs> even, he can't even sustain a dragon. And a whole dragon. Uh, you know what we need? Let's go to the Arcane Forge. You no, know, because he's our crafter, and if his mana drops too low, they're gonna die. We need, we need Santa's wings. I am... Natsa, come back. H hit her with the hammer until she stops moving. Die. Die and drown. Die. Okay, well, obviously don't kill her, but like, rough her up a bit and then capture her. Here's Malel lying in the rain. What's the point of me setting up a job list and a schedule if I have to fucking do everything manually? Prioritize releasing Arctic. Go. Get out. Resurrect me a dragon. Please, for the love of God. Okay, unforbid the dragon. Resurrect the dragon. And. And. Boom. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Arctic was unable to find valid target. Oh, and now Arctic's fucking drowning. Yeah, you know what? I'm almost tempted to let you drown. Well. <laughs> I need to go and I I need to go outside a minute. I need to I need to go outside a minute. Excuse me. Oh, that couldn't have been any better timing. Go, 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 run. Run, run. Thank you, Solon. You can open the sarcophagus now. Go, Santa. Go. Resurrector. Alright, here we go. Whenever you're ready. As quick as you like, old man. Lives are at stake here. Boom. This has been a exercise in futility. Okay, are we good? Is the dragon fine? Magic? Zero, the, the dragon is fine. The dragon is fine. The dragon is fine. We're all fine. Everybody's happy here. That dragon's not. That dragon's fucked. Source of life of a recently deceased pawn. Oh, for God's sake. So we're going to need a resurrect serum if we want to bring this dragon back. Thank you, dragon. Very cool. <laughs> Zane Skull Dragon. Well, fine, whatever. Plus side, we can be proud of the amount of progress we made towards anti-matter annihilation. <laughs> right, okay. Let's actually let's actually plan something out uh, out, if nothing else. Right. Antimatter injector. Okay, what is it? Okay, it lines up there pretty well. So let's throw one of those down like right there. Back of the room. I like it. Is that equal? That's equal. Good shit. Then we need a reactor injector. That shoots this side. Uh, can that go back into the block? Uh, yes, it can. And then on the other side, we need the reactor power converter. Okay, good shit. Uh, power net console is actually very useful for being able to see, well, our power usage. We could put down a big old particle accelerator. Uh, actually, we'll have to put down two to make it balanced. So put a couple of particle accelerators down, as you do. Uh, power net console, alloy fusion machine. That's really what we're after here, to be honest with you. We need 150 antimatter composite, which comes out of the particle accelerators. Particle accelerators are very expensive to power, which is why you need the antimatter reactor. How many how many components is that? Five advanced components. What about you? So none of those cost hyper components. The alloy fusion machine costs the We can build that alloy. Okay, this is good. This is good. And then we've got enough plasteel for all of this, do we? Let's forbid those. Uh, let's just get the reactor online to start off with, because we need that before everything else anyway. That's kind of the prerequisite. So we'll get that online first. Uh... 166 out of 200 plasteel. So we might have enough plasteel. And 60 there. Yeah, we're good. Oh, it's online. Hey, look at that. I've always liked Antimatter Annihilation. I think aesthetically it fits Remold really well. And it's obviously got this really cool animated aesthetic to it as well. So how much power are we getting out of that? 30,000 watts. That'll do it. So now all we need is particle accelerator. Bear in mind we had the canisters to fuel this. We only had two canisters. And we got that from smelting down an antimatter rifle from one of the raids. So we can only fuel this for a very short period of time. Ideally, we need to make sure we just get... We need 25 more bloody plastic, really. Um, shit. I mean, is there any way I can just get 25 plastic? Like, take something apart? Plastic sarcophagus. Hey, there you are. Right, take these apart as soon as possible. Santa, get on it. 
or whoever, get on it. It doesn't really matter. Um, get this part. That should give us enough to get the particle accelerator. Yeah, there we are. More than enough. Right, ignore those two then. Sod it. Particle accelerator online. We can, well, accelerate particles and hopefully get more antimatter to fuel our reactor. How are we looking on that? 18 components and three advanced components. That'll take no time at all. Unfriendly little Christmas particle accelerator. Done. Look at that. Oh, we have to fuel it with plasteel. Uh, 60. Well, that works out pretty fucking well, huh? Uh, need plasteel. Has someone already reserved it? I hope so. Uh, we're not, we're not making it into something, are we? Natsa, what the hell have you got there? What, what's that you're building? Subterrane. No, no, no. What are you building? Oh, advanced components. Shit. So our very, very last final plasteel is going into the particle accelerator. There we are. So we've got enough for two days worth. It's going to produce two canisters a day. So that's uh, roughly... Oh, God. Hang on a minute. That's uh, ca uh, four canisters. So that should keep our reactor... How long is it... Oh, no. Is this a raid? Uh, a big raid? No, not really. Uh, well, that was very likely unnecessarily. Thank you for that. We'll leave it there for today, though. And we'll deal with this raid tomorrow because I have to go and refresh myself with how antimatter annihilation works. And I'll be honest, I don't think my blood pressure could get any higher. My dick is in orbit. So we need to we need to leave it there for today and let me meditate or whatever it is normal people do uh, rather than bottling up their stress and anger towards the world. A big thank you goes out to our executive producer level patrons, including El Scorchio82, Arctic Knight, Altari, Out of All Context, Jess, Plumby, Solothal, Scaps, I Am Segatair, Levi, Hezron, Baldor Hammer, K, and Scarlet Bard for their support the executive producers D tears over on Patreon. I can't talk. I just have mercy for God's sake. <laughs> thank you as well to thanks for the loan, Bojo, Sam Haruni, Flom, Mr. Awesome, Lanath, Alex Schultz, Lilac, Atreus Sen, Lady Cerulean and Blue Chaos as well for their support over on Patreon. <sighs> Breathe.